Hey, um, I'm guessing you found this video because you uh, busted a wheel out of True, uh, just like I did. Um, when I did, I, I called my local bike shop and they wanted like $35-ish to, uh, to True my wheel. I thought that was kind of ridiculous. And so I thought I would learn that skill myself. Um, just being the, the avid do-it-yourselfer, uh, home bike mechanic I am, I decided to, to build a, a truing stand because the ones that I saw online were, well, either too expensive or they looked kind of jank. Um, there are tons of, of photos out there, videos out there, tutorials out there on how to build a truing stand. Uh, so there's nothing too terribly special about this one. I, I did want to, to point out a few things that um, I thought were uh, made, it, made it a little bit better than your, your typical instructable or uh, blog forum style um, uh, truing stand. Uh, so to start off with this, I, I just went to Home Depot. I got a whole bunch of this like slotted angle bar, not entirely sure of the name. Um, and I mounted it to some scrap plywood I had. Um, all things uh, considered, this thing cost me maybe around $30, which is fantastic. Um, I made sure everything was square by first setting up this, this back one. Um, I just cut it down to, I don't know, about 160 millimeters. And then I used that as a fence to, to square up these two rails and then also to set up these, these two posts. Um, I, I did it bit by bit, making sure that these bolt holes into the plywood would make sure everything was as square and true as possible. Now, one of the things that um, I, I, I kind of dig about this, this trimming stand is that I was not overly keen on having metal on metal contact um, with my with my hub here and so I, I got these little like scrap wood um, pieces and I routed a channel in the bottom part which allows me to make some adjustments so that both sides are level now I have a through axle mountain bike and so I can't exactly use I've got a maxle um, I can't exactly use that to mount the wheel to the, the truing stand. So what I found was I just got a piece of, um, I guess this is 5 uh, threaded rod from Home Depot. And um, what I did was I just hacked it off and put some wing nuts on each side through a, um, through a hole I drilled. Now, this way, I don't know if you can see this particularly well, but it's kind of nice in that I can tighten up both sides so that the entire system holds tight. Okay. Now it's, it's definitely not a professional grade, but it's nice because once I tighten this down, oops, once I tighten this down, everything is now nice and tight. All right. And it, it provides a lot of stability, which is, which is pretty awesome um, as far as I'm thinking. Um, the other thing um, that I, 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 I couldn't find a good... Uh, a tutorial for was figuring out what uh, these arms uh, or what I what I am using these arms for so I found these these nut end caps uh, at Home Depot uh, once again they're like a dollar or something and what's super nice about them is they provide a a, a soft flat or not flat but a round surface that's not going to damage my wheel so what I've done is I've mounted them to just a generic bolt and I can use those as my guide. Now you can hear this wheel is still out of true because I haven't true it. But because they're mounted on this, this bolt, 
I have micro adjustments or I can really fine tune adjust it such that I'm making these tiny little adjustments. This is in part possible because I went super low tech and I drilled out a half inch hole and I grabbed some bolts or sorry, some nuts and I put it uh, on, a, on a table and I just pounded or I bashed those nuts into, into this, this piece of scrap wood. Now, this is nice because now I have this fine tune adjustment to actually work the, 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 the truing arm or whatever you wanna call it next to the rim. Now, the other nice part about this, um, this arm system and with these nut caps is that you can also use them to check round. Hopefully, uh, by just screwing them in a little bit further, you can work them, and this wheel is not in round, as you can hear, but it provides a nice surface. Um, let's see if I can, you can see it there. To actually hear the out of round component, so you can you can tighten that all up. I mean, like I said, all things considered, this this entire churning stand cost maybe thirty dollars to build. Um, I've I've trued a, I've set a, I've got a set of uh, Hope hubs or I guess Hope hoops because they're the full wheel, um, and I got those within I want to say a quarter of a millimeter true which, you know, for 30 bucks is pretty awesome. Now, because I'm kind of um, uh, into overkill, I also hopped on Amazon and I bought this little dial gauge, um, which can, has a magnetic base, which can snap to, uh, or can uh, attach to the actual metal of this. And what's nice about it is it can actually, you can actually dial in exactly how far out of true you are. As you can see, that little dial is going back and forth because there's a little bit, well, there's definitely, this wheel is out of true. So this thing was like 30 bucks, um, this little dial gauge. Not particularly necessary, but once again, you know, I'm an avid do-it-yourselfer and, you know, belt and suspenders is, is sort of my MO. Uh, last sort of thing um, I was trying to figure out that I couldn't find a, a clear answer for in any of the forums was I needed to true a rear wheel, which uh, I've got boost spacing uh, in back. Um, but I also wanted to be able to true a, a front wheel while I'm, you know, at it. So one way you could do it with this system would be to just drill, uh, drill another set of holes and just move this entire rail system over. Now I decided not to do that. Um, what I did was I once again went to Home Depot and I found this inch and a half dowel rod um, and bought six inches of it. Uh, so that cost me all of a dollar. Drilled a little hole in it, and these act as perfect spacers that I can put on each side, um, well, each side for a front, front wheel. Now this allows uh, the entire system to, to, uh, to, to bolt on tight, and I can chew that front wheel. So this isn't the, the most high-tech system. There's there's nothing super original here, but uh, the things that uh, I wish I would have known before I started or um, wish I could have followed along was finding these, these, um, these end caps uh, from Home Depot and then thinking about just using this, this threaded rod with, um, I, I put some electrical tape on the inside for uh, just safety reasons. Um, but just using the, the, that threaded rod as an axle instead of having to, to buy some particular uh, machined end caps. Though there are some pretty cool machined end caps out there. So I hope uh, this was helpful. I'm gonna post some, some pictures somewhere or another on the internet. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully 
uh, you can you can build this if if you want to. Uh, one thing I will say is if this seems too complicated, uh, I'm going to throw a couple affiliate links uh, down below, uh, maybe to Jensen USA or something. Uh, if you do want to buy a, a, a truing stand, please use those affiliate links. Uh, I get a few bucks. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. The thing is, I kind of want to buy some carbon hoops, but as you know, they're super expensive and I'm saving up for them. Uh, by clicking on that link, you're actually helping me a little bit to, to, to buy those. And uh, just as a plug for a buddy of mine, uh, the, the, the carbon hoops that I would be buying would be uh, Drive Wheels. Um, they're out of Redmond, Oregon, so that's near Bend. Uh, this guy Shane, he uh, is the, the owner, founder, whatever you want to call it, of this, this wheel shop. Built some pretty bomber wheels, a couple of my buddies ride them. and. Uh, well, I want to buy some. They're kind of expensive because they're carbon. They're pretty awesome. And by clicking on that affiliate link, that would uh, get me one step closer to, to writing some, some carbon wheels for my buddy Shane. So I appreciate you watching this and uh, I hope it was helpful. Thanks.